that I believe that democracy is the very worst possible form of government on the earth. I don't think you can get a worse government than democracy. And the reason I'm saying that, I can clarify it now. First of all, demos in Greek is a mob. That's why a mob is out in the street with plaques and, and rant and raving. We call it a demonstration. A demonstration is demo is a mob of people. And so democracy, democracy is the rule. So the rule of the mob is democracy. True democracy is 45 whites hanging one block. That's democracy. We all voted, and one, one guy's got to die. We all voted. It's democracy. No, America was founded as a constitutional republic. A constitutional republic means there is a set rule of laws that everyone abides by, and it was set up in such a way as to protect the person, the individual, from the mob. Because, you know, and down south where I come from, the Ku Klux Klan, they can pick out anybody they want, and there's 45 of them, and they take you out and hang you. And who's going to say anything? It was a democracy. We all voted. And therefore, it must be legal. No. America was set up as a constitutional republic, which means the Constitution was a law. And everyone, no matter who it is in the country, had to abide by the law. And it protected you as an individual. The biggest problem with a democracy is very simple if you just think about it. Democracy means mob rule. It doesn't matter what the law says. And incidentally, I want to throw this out to you. We hear all the time that America is a, is a land of laws. We are a country based on law. In point of fact, that is not true. In point of fact, it is just the opposite. America is the most lawless country on the earth, period. There is no law in America. Think about that, what I just told you. There is no law in America. What we have here is whatever the judge says it is. And whatever the judge says it is, that's what the law is. If you go to a different court and a different judge with the same identical information, facts, and figures, will maybe give a, a different uh, uh, verdict. Well, that's what the law is. That's the law. No, it's not the law. It's what that guy said. And that's exactly what's going on in America. It doesn't matter what the actual law books say. You cannot go into a court in this country and win on the basis of facts. That is the facts of life. You cannot win in a court in America on the basis of facts, period. The judge don't give a damn about the facts. He's the boss, and in this court, he calls the shots. Well, yeah, but the other judge said, I don't care what the other judge said, this is my court, and I call the shots, so I will decide. If I kind of like you, maybe I'll give you a break. If I don't like you, maybe I'll add 10 years. Now, what are you going to do about it? He said, well, yeah, but the law says, no, no, don't bring that up. This is my court. I call the shots. Therefore, there is no law. America is a lawless, is a land of lawlessness. In the Bible, in the book of Revelation, there's a talk, it talks about the rise of the man of lawlessness. And I've often wondered about that. It's very interesting. A lot of interesting, important stuff written in the Bible, if you know what you're looking at. But it talks about, in the book of Revelation, the rise of something called the man of lawlessness. And I used to wonder why, what, what the... What in the world was that all about? Because America's got so many laws. We've got thousands of law books. We, that's all we are is got law books. So how can we, there, there be a man of lawlessness that would rise in the world? Well, now I understand. America is the home of the man of lawlessness. George Bush couldn't care less what the Constitution says, the Bill of Rights. It just don't matter. He's the boss, and whatever he says do, that's what you're doing. You say, well, yeah, but the law says they don't care. And if you bring that up again, you're going to jail. Why? Because he represents the Vatican. The Bush regime was front for the Vatican. The most important enemy this country has today, people will never understand it, but the biggest enemy that this nation today has is the Vatican. The Vatican is behind the crap that's going on all over
What do you think the founding fathers, whatever we call them, the founding fathers, where did they come from? The people who founded this country, they came from Europe. Well, for 2,500 years, Rome, under the Caesars of Rome, and then after the fall of the Caesars in the fourth century, and with the coming of the Vatican in the fifth century, all of Europe has been dominated for over 2,500 years by Rome. And Europe has dominated the world for 2,500 years. So I'm saying that if you want to find out who the real enemy of this country is, you better start looking at the Holy Father. And you better start finding out the connection between the Vatican and the Nazi party of Adolf Hitler. Thank you. Thank you, Jordan.